Good morning everyone, here from Puerto Escondido in Mexico. Now we're on the Pacific coast of Mexico, so no longer the Caribbean style beaches that we had in the Riviera Maya. And the place we're staying is called Cocaloba Guest House. So it's pretty much like an apartment, got quite a lot of space. Nice spacious kitchen as well. Unfortunately it doesn't have a microwave or a toaster which I usually like in the morning. Makes breakfast easier. And we also have a nice bedroom as well. This time a bigger bed than we've been getting in Mexico so far, so that's good. And yeah, AC once again. And then this is like the living room area, so we can also eat here. And then through here we've got a pretty nice bathroom as well. And this place was 24. $24 a night. And also another awesome thing is we get a swimming pool. We don't really use the swimming pools that often, but yeah, you also get that in, in the price. And it's only like a minute walk to the beach. So yeah, an absolutely amazing deal that Carol found. And we're gonna be here for two weeks. So that's probably another reason why we got a pretty good price. Hey, good evening. You're watching Weather Channel here on a Friday evening. So this is the road that we're on. As you can see, it's like a sandy dirt road. The majority of the roads around here in Puerto Escondido seem to be like that actually, like all sandy roads. I kind of like it though. So this is the main big beach. It's called Playa Zicatela. And we're kind of staying in the middle of the beach where there's not that many businesses and stuff, so it's all really quiet. So to the right, that's like the main center of Puerto Escondido. And then to the left, there's another like main part, right? Yeah, I think it's called Punta, because there's a the Punta over there. Okay. And I think it's like a hippie place. Yeah, so we actually went there quickly and it was definitely more of a hippie vibe. And we just came down this little path here, so behind there you have the, the market. So that's really handy, we can get all our like groceries and stuff. And they have a row of restaurants there which are really awesome because here you get really cool uh, sunsets pretty much every day. Look at those waves, look at that now. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, it's not been uh, swimmable, has it? No. Nobody's even surfing. It's no. too crazy even for surfing. Yeah, it's too rough, you know, for surfers. Yeah. So we're gonna head down that way to the center. We haven't actually been there yet. And I think there has a, an area where you can swim. It's kind of blocked off or something, the ocean. So yeah, I think you can swim down there. This water really is crazy though. Before we continue, I'd like to talk about the sponsor of this video, Surfshark are a VPN provider that we've been using for the past six months. This allows us to keep a private connection anywhere in the world, keeping our data and information safe from potential hackers. It also allows us to access all 15 of Netflix's libraries. Since we can set our devices to any country in the world, it allows us to access all the films and series that are available. And it also allows us to bypass censorship. In certain countries, specific sites or content even on YouTube can be blocked. But by using Surfshark, we're able to bypass these issues. Surfshark allows unlimited devices on one subscription. In the description of this video, we have a link with the code JUMPINPLACES that gives you 83% off and three months for free. 
They also have a month money back guarantee. So if you use it and then you decide you don't want to continue, you haven't spent any money. Yeah, so we're almost at the end now. Even this part of the beach, there's no way you can swim. There's nobody in there at all. But we think right in the corner, that's where all the boats are parked. So um, yeah, we should be able to swim there at least. It's getting hot, right, all this walking? Yeah, we need to, to go in. Yeah, we need to cool down. See how the Pacific Ocean is, the temperature. So at this corner of the beach, there's actually a little freshwater lagoon. I don't know if people swim in there. I'm not gonna swim in there, but yeah, it looks pretty beautiful with the plants and trees around. This area is really nice actually, as you can see, super green. Loads of hotels and stuff hidden away. Yeah, I think this is the only spot you can swim, right? Yeah, apparently during this time. I don't know if the next day is the what the the ocean will be better. I don't know how it works here. Yeah, the day we arrived it wasn't as crazy as this. Yeah, so this is gonna be our spot here. Just put our bag underneath the boat. So me and Carol thought that this part of the beach was going to be packed with people but there's like almost nobody here at all, right? No, just locals. Yeah, there's only locals. No tourists at all on this part. Maybe they go to the other side then. Still pretty strong, yeah. the current. No waves here though, really. Only these little ones. Yeah, I already approve of the temperature of the ocean on this side. Like only slightly cool, perfect. Come on in. <laughs> so this lifeguard's running. I'm not sure if someone's in danger. Maybe this two. Yeah, I think those two. Oh really? Yeah. Oh wow. I think they're trying to get out, but they can't. That's why I'm telling you, it's kind of dangerous here, especially because it goes very deep. Yeah. There's a strong current. Yeah, I've never seen this, so the lifeguard's saving them. I don't think it's children, I think it's old people. Wow, lifeguard to the rescue. He came from nowhere. He, I think he came from that hut over there. Yeah. We saw him with his binoculars before. Oh, that was crazy. Well, at least they're safe. So we've been here for three whole days now and we can already see why a lot of foreigners rave about this place and why they come here. It doesn't really have that much of a touristy vibe to it, I guess. No, yeah, the places are very empty, the, the beach, and you can feel that it's a very laid back place. That's why we like about it. Yeah. Almost like a local vibe, yeah. still feels uh, very local. And we've noticed a lot of the foreigners that are here seem to be like digital nomads. We see them on their laptops everywhere. In the place that we're staying, there are many, like every morning, the guys are working on their laptops. Yeah, so it's like the first place where we've had better internet, I'd say. It's not, it's not perfect, but it's a lot better than in the Riviera Maya, all the places we stayed there. So we've been able to upload our YouTube videos in like two hours, which isn't so bad. And yeah, like we said, we see other people working, so it seems to be a good spot for digital nomads. to get a bite to eat now. We saw a cool little spot on right on the beach to eat. So yeah, probably gonna go there. I think they have fish as well. So we're kind of craving some fish right now. So this is the spot right here. 
right on the beach. Check it out. <laughs> Super close. Sabo Ama restaurant. And I think I'm gonna get the filete de pescado fish fillets with garlic, ajo, and that's 120. So pretty awesome price since you're in this awesome location right here. Do you know what you're gonna get? I think I have fish uh, empanizado. Empanizado. Yeah, breaded fish fillet. Okay, and that's 150. Yeah, I thought it'd be more expensive because of the location. They have very good prices. Yeah. All right. Big portion. <laughs> Gracias. Huh? Bien. Bien. Hay limones. Limones. Okay. Okay. Provecho. Gracias. Wow, a lot of food, right? Yeah. More than we usually get. Look at the size of yours. <laughs> Yeah, so we got the little like corn things for tacos, I guess. Can make some fish tacos, different sauces. Nice. So the fish with garlic has been my go-to dish here in Mexico. I pretty much always order it. I think it tastes really nice. You usually prefer that, don't you? Yeah, sometimes I like the the one with garlic, sometimes I like this one. Yeah. Check out the little dog over there. Got a pink top on. <laughs> So we're going to be heading to the other side of the beach now, a place called Punta Zicatela. I guess we could walk there but we don't really want to walk all the way there so they have these like little vans or trucks that pass by and I think you can just hop on and hop off wherever you want along the main road so yeah we're going to get one of those. Not sure how much it is but I'll let you know. Hola, uh, Punta Zicatela? Okay, gracias. So it turns out we missed our stop. <laughs> the locals that were in here just told us that we should have got off before. So I guess you gotta know where you're going. We told him the place, Punta Zicatela, so I thought he was gonna tell us, but yeah, he, I think he stopped there, but we didn't know it was the place. <laughs> you, have to, you have to use this. Yeah, you we gotta. Yeah. We have to know where to stop. Yeah. And we don't. <laughs> so now we're just looping around. Not the most comfortable way to get around. No, but I, I heard it's very cheap. Yeah. That little ride was just eight pesos per person. It was only like, I don't know, six, seven minutes, but we got a walk loads anyway, so maybe we should have just walked on the beach in the first place to get here. So we got to walk all the way down this road. Doesn't look too close. So this is the main street on this side. It's basically where you have all the bars and restaurants. We actually ate here on the first day that we arrived. Gets really busy at night though. It's not like now, pretty much nobody around at the moment. Yeah, loads of bars around here. Yeah, so this is the beach that all the tourists hang out on. This is where all the foreigners are at. This place is completely empty. 
but this is the area that all the surfers are coming to at the moment so there's probably about four or five out there but i don't know to me this still looks insane to surf on i don't see anyone catching any waves anyway and i think there's a little trail on this rock here and that will take us to some sort of arch and uh, rock formations or something to do a bit of rock climbing to get to the point that we want to get to <laughs> get some nice views from up here though check this out awesome and it is a proper trail proper area to walk on So this trail back there said private property, but I think that's BS. I think the people that live in the villas here or own the villas just put the sign there. Because there's no way they own this part of the coast. No, I don't think they can. Yeah, I don't think they can. So yeah, we just walk through it anyway. I mean, there's a proper trail here. Wow, so even on this side, there's this like beautiful little hidden beach here. Not private beach. No. <laughs> and I have no idea what this is. Some sort of monument, I guess. Yeah, what is this? No idea. <laughs> oh, not bad place for the views, though. We didn't even know there was any beaches on this trail. We were just coming for the rocks and stuff, but... Yeah, apparently a little private beach for us. Yeah, check how cool these rocks look. Huge rocks. So this is also the reason why we came here. They have this cool archway. Check that out. I don't know if we can go across though. Look, look at that. Maybe when the tide's low, seems a bit risky. So the water comes all the way from over there and then just shoots down here. Funny, I thought this was like a small beach, but from the drone shots, you could probably see that it actually just continues and it looks like a never ending beach. I couldn't even see the end even on the drone. So absolutely a huge beach and looked like it was empty, like not much development either. So yeah, I guess there's just so many beaches around here. come back to the middle of Zicatella beach right near where we're staying and behind us is like this little shack bar usually they have music but yeah I'm not sure what's going on today the speakers on the floor maybe it's broken and I just got some mango juice and Carol got the usual coca-cola and that was uh, 60 overall so we're hoping we're gonna get an epic sunset because yeah there's some nice clouds around as well and this is going to be our first sunset in, in the videos anyway in Mexico. Yeah, in Mexico, yeah, because we were on the other side of the, of the country and that's the sunrise side. So now we have the sunset. Yeah.
the sunset was really epic. I don't think I've ever seen a sunset with the waves crashing like that. So yeah, that's a new one for us. And we're really tired. We've done so much walking today. I think we got on the beach around 10, 10 a.m. And now it's like almost 7 p.m. We've been literally the whole day just walking around and on the beach. <laughs> we don't usually spend that long on the beach. And overall, we spent around $48, I think. That's excluding tips because we tip the restaurant and the bar. But you could probably add a few dollars as well because there's the breakfast and also the dinner that we're about to cook. That was just food that we bought from the supermarket. So yeah, that's around the price. If we didn't eat out, we'd only probably spend less than $30 around here, which is what we've been doing some of the other days and probably what we're gonna spend um, yeah, the next days as well, the next few days here. So hopefully you enjoy this video here from Puerto Escondido. There's gonna be a lot more coming from this coast since we're gonna be here for quite a long time. So if you like the video, just drop a like as usual. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.